Okay, we're going to go to, uh, or we're going to do part one of uh, a series on self-esteem. Uh, one of the reasons I'm uh, doing this particular series on self-esteem, I really do believe that uh, self-esteem is important for our development as well as for our success. I believe it's important to help us to begin uh, to seek to, to thrive rather than just survive life. And, and I believe without a healthy level of self-esteem, we will not be successful and we will continue to play, um, again, what I term as the victim mentality. On most uh, of my videos, you will hear me make reference to uh, the victim mentality. And I do so because I really do believe that it is the victim mentality more so than anything else that keeps people from being successful in life, that keeps our communities uh, in a condition that they're in. Um, there's so many different uh, uh, issues that are aggravated by having the victim mentality. And, and the crazy thing about uh, the victim mentality, it's hard for uh, many of us to recognize it because it doesn't really feel like a victim mentality. You think that uh, you're just speaking the truth, that you're uh, recognizing what's really going on or or you're woke or, you know, we got all these different terms that we use uh, uh, to define our life uh, situation as well as our um a likelihood of being successful or why we're not successful. Um, for many of us, especially in the uh, minority communities or in uh, poor communities of any, any uh, ethnicity, um, we, we tend to play the blame game uh, when we come to describing our current conditions. If our uh, conditions are not what we think they should be, right, or they're not as uh, good as, let's say, someone else's uh, conditions. So we'll find uh, different things to identify as the root cause um, for us being in these uh, unfortunate conditions, right? Uh, we may blame uh, the, the government in general or uh, systemic racism, uh, poor education, uh, socioeconomic status, uh, growing up in a uh, in a bad family, uh, growing up in you know in a bad neighborhood in areas with uh, the uh, educational system is not uh, very good. So I do believe, and I I, I would agree that these uh, issues can be contributing factors or are contributing factors uh, to the conditions that we may live in. However, we have choices, right? And, and, and the victim mentality uh, basically tells us that um, these things are the determining factor as to whether we're going to be successful or not successful. And if the uh, government, let's say, uh, doesn't intervene by, uh, you know, putting money into the communities and, and, and other programs, then there is no way for us to succeed and, and survive. And that it is uh, inherently creates a, a, a atmosphere of inequality. And I don't believe this is so. I used to believe this and I, and I would even uh, uh, speak similarly uh, to this uh, in a lot of times when I would talk to people. Right. And, and I believed it. Right. And it appeared to have evidence because, you know, when you look around and you do see. Uh, look at the poor communities and stuff like that. They do have uh, uh, schools that are not uh, necessarily up to par with schools in, in richer areas. And uh, many other families do live in, in poor conditions and the neighborhoods a lot of times are in shambles, you know, with uh, dirt and uh, trash and everything thrown all over the place, graffiti all over the walls, um, you know, uh, constant, the, you know, the crime rate is, is so much higher and, and all these other things. Now, my issue is that all of these conditions 
can be attributed to one thing. Us, right? We live in these communities and we, for whatever reason, create these conditions, whether consciously or unconsciously. Um, again, I don't think that most people consciously think like, hey, you know what? I'm going to I don't care about my uh, community and I'm just going to do whatever I can to, to screw it up. But at a subconscious level, we don't care. And 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 with the victim mentality, we uh, 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 sometimes believe that we're entitled to, uh, you know, do certain things based on the way that we have been treated, maybe by society uh, or a government or whoever. Right. So we don't uh, take pride in our communities. You know, when we're walking down the street and we see trash all over the ground and stuff like that. We don't bother to stop and pick it up or anything because we're like, I didn't put it there. So why should I pick it up? Right. Um, so um, and even the, even the uh, political climate today, in, in my opinion, especially uh, liberal politics. And again, I don't identify as a uh, conservative. I don't really identify with any of the uh, uh, political parties. However, um, if something is good and, and if it's if I believe it's good, according to my values and it's promoted by a liberal, hey, I will accept that. And if it's uh, something I believe is good and it is promoted by a, a uh, conservative, I'll accept that. And, and, and in my opinion, I believe that's the way that uh, politics or politicians should act because you should be acting on behalf of the people. What's in the best interest of the people? But instead, from what I can tell, they act in the best interest of their party politics or their party agenda. And everything that they do is uh, based on whatever their party is, is pushing at the time. And they play on people's fears, right? So every time there's a shooting, uh, for example, right, uh, we start talking about uh, 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 gun laws and, and uh, banning certain type of weapons and stuff like that. When in reality, what we should be talking about is helping people uh, with their mental health conditions, helping people to uh, learn that they uh, can succeed and they can thrive in their life, uh, helping people to learn that there are resources out there available to them so that they, they can be successful. Right. And again, I believe that this self-esteem, this idea uh, uh, of self-esteem is one of the things that will help us to get past this victim mentality. We will begin to uh, develop a, uh, a uh, an internal locus of control rather than an external locus of control, right? And so when I say internal locus of control and external locus of control, um, you can think of it as location of control. And again, I'm not using I don't I generally don't use dictionary definition of words. I try to explain words in such a way that it is easily understandable uh, by the average individual. Right. So anyway, uh, so the internal locus of control, uh, if I have an internal locus of control, then I believe that my destiny, that my fate, that my ultimate uh, uh, success or failure is based on the effort that I put into it. If I have an external locus of control, I believe that my fate and my destiny are the product and are determined by external factors, things outside of myself. So this could be um, the, the government, the uh, family that I grew up in, um, uh, systemic racism and all these other things. And again, as I said, I do believe that these things have an impact on us. However, they are not the determining factors, right? Our decisions are. And, and, and to prove that, you know, we can find many examples of people who did not necessarily grow up under the best uh, circumstances, right? Uh, people who now have, you know, created wealth for themselves, right? And then we find all kind of different excuses as to why they did it and we can't, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, we might call the person a sellout, say they sold their soul to the industry. Um, 
or, or, or they, you know, had somebody to give them a hand up or, you know, we find all kind of different ways why they can do it and why we can't. Right. When in reality, uh, what we're actually doing um, in that situation, we're creating a case for our failure. We're creating evidence to prove why we should fail in life. Right. And 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 even 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 me talking. Right. The way that I talk now and the way that I um, uh, look at situations, many people would consider me to be a sellout. Right. And the reason why or one of the reasons why they would consider me uh, to be a sellout is that um, I do not um, subscribe to uh, the victim mentality. So what I preach is that you, right, whoever you are, you can be successful in your life. You can be uh, or, or excuse me, you can do as much as anyone else can do. Right. Regardless of your uh, race, regardless of your financial situation or anything. Right. You can do as much or more than anyone else. Right. You but you have to put the effort into it. You have to put the energy and time into uh, you being successful and you uh, have to make better decisions in your life. Right. And and with those decisions, it will um, uh uh, bring you success, right? When you're motivated and you have the effort. Now, what the victim mentality and what the media uh, uh, generally, uh, as far as I can tell, is telling us is that we cannot be successful, that, uh, you know, uh, things such as uh, systemic racism, uh, for example, um, is holding people back, especially um, uh, minority or uh, other people that are uh, considered to be, uh, let's say, less desirable within the within the uh, society or the community, um, that they are, are are the victims of the system, and that uh, their condition is due to uh, other people's decisions, and that there is no way that these people could possibly uh, be successful, and therefore. Their 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 criminal activity, uh, their bad decisions um, are not really their fault. Right. It, it's not really their fault. It is the fault of the system. Right. And again, I say that um, any decisions that we make are our decisions and we're responsible for our decisions, regardless of our uh, conditions in life. Right. And with that, though, I say that we are strong enough to be successful regardless of who of anybody who's working against us right and and regardless of systemic racism now am i so naive to believe that uh racism does not exist absolutely not i i believe there is uh uh still they still do have uh racism and i believe till the end of you know the time right they will we will still be dealing with racism unfortunately however i'm saying that you are stronger than that that you are uh, uh, able and capable of being successful, regardless of what anyone else has to say about you, right? That you are uh, a strong, uh, capable individual, right? And 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 when we have again a a healthy level of self esteem, we begin to understand and, and start to realize our actual potential, right? Um. And that potential is huge, right? A lot of people, we look at our current conditions and then we compare that to other people's current conditions. And then we start feeling bad for ourselves or we start feeling depressed because our conditions uh, seem so much uh, worse than other people's conditions. And, and, and I, I really do believe that that's the wrong measuring stick. We have to look at at or we have to take into consideration potential, right? And, and so potential, technically, it, it's, it's huge, and at the same time, it's nothing, right? It's huge, and at the same time, it's nothing. And like, well, how can it be huge and nothing at the same time? Well, it's potential, it, it's, it's huge in that put my potential um, uh, 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 determines 
uh, is basically like my capacity for success, right? It's uh, uh, my ability to be successful in life and to have uh, accomplishments. Um, so like, uh, for example, someone that like, let's say Michael Jordan, right? He had certain potential um, uh, when he was growing up. And from my understanding, I didn't research this. I just heard it from one of the books that I, uh, uh, that I have an audio book, um, where he, um, at, at a certain age, right. Didn't, wasn't able to make the team, right. Uh, uh like basketball team. Um, however, obviously, and as we know now, looking back, he had huge potential, right. And so rather than uh, him saying, you know, well, screw it. You know, I'll, I'll never be able to make the team, which some people do. You know, you try out for something and you don't make it and you just kind of give up and say that you're not good enough. Right. He put the effort into it to become what we now consider to be uh, one of the greatest of all times. So you go from not being able to make the team to being the team. Right. Right. Because you chose to make certain decisions that led you to live up to what your potential was. So the potential was always there, right? Even when he didn't make the team, the potential was there, but he had not yet developed the skills uh, to go along with that potential, right? So it's, so it's huge, right? If we choose to develop that potential. Now it's nothing, right? If we um, don't follow up on that potential, right? So again, we all have the potential to do so many things, especially nowadays with our uh, technology, right? The technology that we have, um, there are so many different ways to make money, right? Um, affiliate marketing, right? So many of you uh, that's watching, that will be watching this video, um, you have social media uh, uh, platforms that you visit on a daily basis, uh, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Instagram, um, Twitter, you know, all these different, uh, uh, social media platforms and they're cool, right? You know, you like watching different stuff and it's cool and funny, uh, videos and stuff. I do too. I like watching a bunch of, you know, weird shit, uh, on there. Now, um, with these platforms, you can do things like affiliate marketing, right? So, uh, affiliate marketing, right. Is when you, uh, sign up with a, a, uh, a company, let's say like Amazon, right? Sign up for their affiliate mo uh, program and you begin to uh, put your affiliate link along with certain products into, let's say, attached to the description of your uh, videos or your post, right? And when people click on those on, on that affiliate link and they go and they buy that product or even some other product uh, after following your link, then you get a, a portion of the commission, right? Now, some people only make, you know, a few dollars, a few extra dollars. Some people make millions of dollars using this uh, affiliate marketing idea, right? And it's for something that you would be doing anyway. You're going to be posting your uh, videos anyway. And you have these opportunities to uh, uh, get money. Also, there are programs out here, out, you know, in, in, in the community that are uh, specially geared to help people that don't have a lot of money, you know, uh, programs to help people with low income uh, to get uh, college grants to uh, educate themselves, right? To go to school and get a, and gain a higher education uh, so that they can uh, move forward in a, a good career. Even if you have <coughs> a criminal history, there are programs, and this is one of the things that I tell my clients, because mo most of my clients are uh, the formerly incarcerated people who have been in prison, whether for a long or short period of time, but they have, you know, felonies on their record. And people uh, think that, uh, well, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it or I'm not going to have as much opportunity as other people because I have a, fel a felony on my record. And that's not true. Now, you will have some obstacles uh, due to having a felony on your record. However, it is not a, uh, it will not stop you unless you allow it to, right? And, and, and again, there are programs and organizations that are out there specifically geared to help those who have been uh, uh, formerly incarcerated. Um, right now, where I, I actually live in Orange County, 
And 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 even within Orange County alone, there are uh, 30 or more um, programs that help people um, who's been incarcerated to get a uh, free college education, even including helping them with housing and, and money for food, uh, help them to uh, uh, get into a trade uh, and pay for school, things like truck driving school and getting other types of trades uh, that the person will be able to use to help them to move forward with their life. Uh, and there's so many, so many different programs in future, future videos. I'll actually, uh, I'll discuss some more of these programs, but my point here is that there are all these opportunities available. However, we sometimes, uh, choose not to make use of these programs. And I understand as well that sometimes we're not aware of these programs. So, um, we end up, uh, 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 you know, not really understanding or knowing that they're there. Right. So. But again, my point is that um, if we want to be successful, um, we can. Right. Both success and failure are choices. Success and failure are choices. And and some people may, you know, may not believe that because and, and I understand why, because you like how, why would somebody choose to fail? Right. And I don't necessarily think that the person always necessarily consciously chooses to fail like they just uh, make a decision and say, well, you know what? I want to fail. I don't think it's it's uh, at that conscious level. But I do believe that uh, when we uh, choose not to. Uh, do what's in our best interest and choose not to uh, uh, educate ourselves that we are in, in fact choosing to fail, right? When we, um, uh, you know, don't try to, uh, let's say, start our own businesses or do different things, we uh, always want to settle for less or take the easy way out, right? And and the thing about that is 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 if you do the the work right especially while you're younger right you do the hard work you put in hard work while you're young right you will have a easier life when you're older but if you try to you know just have fun and do what's easy while you're young your uh old age will probably be pretty hard because you're gonna have to continue uh working and laboring throughout your old age because you're not gonna have anything set aside you're not going to have any recurring income uh, uh, coming in um, because you haven't uh, created wealth. And, and even for you, like your children and, 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 and future generations, you haven't uh, put them in a position uh, so that they have things um, uh, to help them uh, with their life. And, and it's so unfortunate that we nowadays, we have an issue or we take issue with people who uh, let's say create wealth for their for their future generations. Uh, excuse me, I turn on the fan; it's a little warm. Uh, so, uh, and when we see people like that, we'll see people who, uh, you know, maybe we'll see a relatively young person who has uh, very nice things, right? And they come from a family that that has money, and. Uh, and we come up with all kind of different uh, uh, terms to refer to them uh, nowadays. Even the word uh, "privileged" have uh, has uh, became uh, uh, somewhat negative, right? When we refer to someone as being privileged, right? And uh, and generally, we're 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 uh, using a term to refer to someone who has a family who has given them certain things that they didn't necessarily have to work for. Right. As if there is something wrong with that. Now, I believe that rich or poor, the family should teach their 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 uh, uh, children good work ethics and they should teach them the value of money. But. Um, the fact that they have these things in place and make it so that their children doesn't have to work, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And that is something that we should uh, uh, strive for. Right. Um, why would you not want to create wealth so that your 
uh, children can have uh, 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 something that uh, when they grow up, they can just have something. You have a legacy uh, that they can carry on. Right. What is you know, what is what could possibly be uh, the downside of that? Right. But we we look at it as as if it's something negative. Right. Because we have uh, twisted our values um, to make uh, bad things seem right and to make right things seem bad. Um, you know, even in, in, in our in our community and, and all of these are self, self, self-esteem issues. Right. Um, even in our uh, communities. Right. We pick on a lot of times uh, people who, let's say, go to school and uh, edu- choose to educate themselves and don't get involved in uh, uh, drug using, uh, gang activity and. Uh, uh, you know, not out out in the streets fighting all the time, maybe they don't even know how to fight. Um, you know, but they, they go to school and they educate themselves and they're trying to do or live uh, what we would call the square life. Right. The square life. So uh, even when I when I was a kid. Right. I was you know, I, I was no better. Um, you know, I would talk shit uh, about people who were uh, so-called squares and and and, and not uh, uh, street savvy or didn't have a street knowledge, uh, let's say. And that's a problem, right? That's a problem. So I'm, you know, let's say making fun of someone because they choose to educate themselves. Right. And these are, these are self-esteem issues. Right. And so what ends up happening, um, and, and again, I'll just use myself as an example, but this is, uh, uh, using myself for example to be specific, but it is generally the way that we think in the, in the uh, uh, community, right? At a, at a subconscious level, we don't believe, right, that we can uh, accomplish these things or we think that uh, uh, people um, are, are better, have better opportunities than we do or that they're better than us because they happen to have more things than us. And, and I do understand that most of you would disagree with me and like, well, I don't think anybody's better than me. But in fact, a lot of times we do, even especially when we um, we, will walk up and we'll see somebody. They might give us a certain look. And the first thing we'll say is, oh, yeah, that motherfucker think he's better than me. Right. The problem is that that person hasn't said anything. Right. Hasn't said or implied anything. But we automatically come with that. So at some level, we think they're better than us. Right. And and we feel a certain way about that. And we don't want to admit that we think they're better than us. Now, they're not better than us, regardless of how much they have or don't have. Um, uh, The way that I believe is that we, none of us are better than the other, right? Uh, As human beings, right? One is not better than the other. One may have more stuff than others. One may uh, make better decisions than others. But as human beings, we are not as people, uh, one better than the other. But when we have uh, poor uh, self-esteem, we we really feel um, we really feel uh, less than, right? We feel uh, less than other people, um, and 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 sometimes when we feel less than, it it's going to hurt you, right? You're going to feel hurt in a certain way, so you feel like you have to lash out, right? You feel you have to lash out and get back at at the people, right? And uh, but when we uh, choose to work on ourselves and we pro- improve our self-esteem and we begin to recognize our full potential, then we stop worrying about what other people think about us. We stop worrying about um, what other people are doing or not doing for us. And we begin to live according to our potential. Right. We begin to uh, make certain decisions um, that are going to affect us in a positive way and help us move forward in a positive way. And we also begin to to do things and make decisions that are also going to help our community. Right. Because we, we begin to feel a connection um, to our community and, and we actually want to help rather than hinder um, um, uh, the people around us. Right. And again, these are self-esteem issues. And the way that we begin to build our self-esteem is by doing uh, 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 esteemable acts. Right. 
So and, and esteemable acts are things that we do that we can be proud of. You know, a lot of us will say things like we're proud of our race. Uh, we're proud of. Let's say the family we were born into. Uh, we're proud. We're proud of, let's say, the country we were born. Um, you know, all of these different things. And that's fine. You know, to say these things. However, these are things that we had no choice in the matter. Right. You didn't choose where you were born, nor did you choose your race or ethnicity. So to be proud or ashamed. Right. None of that is. Is 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 something that's attributable to your decisions or your actions or your accomplishments. Right. Uh, good or, fa- or good or bad. Right. It's not attributable to you uh, as an individual. Right. That's the circumstances that you were placed in. However, after that, after birth, after especially after we become, uh, let's say, young adults. Right. We are responsible for the decisions that we make. And those decisions will determine the direction of our life. Right. And so as we begin to to perform esteemable acts. Right. You know, helping someone else. Right. Uh, Maybe you go and volunteer at the senior citizen, uh, excuse me, senior center. Or you may go and volunteer at like, let's say, a hospice uh, uh, place or you may go uh, volunteer and coach like a a little league team or uh, something. Think something that's helping another individual volunteer to tutor someone uh, to help them improve their education. Um, There are so many different ways that we can be of service to the community. Right. And, and, And when you begin to be of service, these things make you feel good. And the more you do it, the more you will want to do it. Right. Because you you begin to recognize how good that these things make you feel. Right. And uh, I can't remember who came up with the quote. Right. But the idea is that the more you do, the more you can do. And again, I didn't that didn't originate with me. Um, and I can't remember uh, uh, where the quote came from or if it's specifically the quote. But. The more you do, the more you can do. Right. And and, and it's and it's very simple. Right. And that's that's I, I think self-explanatory. Right. And, and it just means simply the more that you do. Right. The more that you actually do, the more um, capable you will be, a, the more capabilities, the more um, skills you will have to be able to do even more things. Right. So. Um, I guess you could say one example could be um, uh, when even when you get into sports, let's say football, soccer, UFC, uh, any of these things. Right. When you start, you start as a beginner, not really knowing anything. And you have very basic skills. Um, and then the more you practice uh, the things that are being taught, the more skills you have and the more you can actually do. Right. And then when you begin to, uh, let's say, spar with uh, your your uh, teammates, let's say, um, and you begin to work on actually practice the moves that you're being taught, um, the the more proficient you become at using these these things, right? And so again, the more you do, the more you can do, right? And so, and this goes with anything that we do in life, right? Even lifting weights. Right. The more you do, the more you can do. If you increase your strength, let's say on a bench press. Right. You increase you. Excuse me. You increase your strength. Right. By the more you do, the more weight you put on there. Right. Let's say doing your maximum, your one, let's say your one uh, rep max max. Um, and you put that on a bar over time uh, that one rep, uh, you begin to get to where you can do two reps. Right. And, and, and slowly but surely, your one rep max increases, right? Your one rep max begins to increase because, and it increases to, as the more you do, right? The more you do, again, the more you can do, right? So this is, um, again, I, I think that's something that's, that's self-explanatory, but I do think it is directly connected to self-esteem. Right. And and self-esteem will give us the motivation we need uh, to do more because we will have more confidence in ourself. If I don't believe that I can uh, be successful in a a certain endeavor, then it is unlikely that I will ever engage 
in, in, in trying to accomplish that endeavor. Um, uh, and, and if I do engage in it, then I'll only give it a half ass attempt. I'm not going to put my full effort into something that I that I think is a waste of time. Right. But as I gain a, a, a healthy level of self-esteem, um, even if I've never done it before, I will have more confidence in myself that I can that I can do it. And when I, uh, let's say, have an unsuccessful attempt, right, I, I try to do it uh, for the first time and, and I'm not successful, then I will continue, uh, uh, go back to the drawing board and figure out how I can restructure my plans and go at it again, right? It's not that I'm going to keep doing the exact same thing over and over again, right? That don't even make sense. But I will still attempt to uh, accomplish the same endeavor, right? Um, and again, this, this is a self-esteem issue. So uh, self-esteem is huge, right? And we're going to get into um, uh, what, what self-esteem uh, is, what it means, and uh, how it affects us in our life. And, and again, the book that I will be coming from with some of the readings, like you hear me reading the book, the book is uh, called The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. Um, and I'll be coming from that book. I will not necessarily uh, be going through the book, um, uh, uh, straight through the book, right? I, like from chapter one on through, right? I will jump around through the book um, to uh, relevant sections uh, that I believe are important based on the topic that I want to present. Um, so, and, and uh, uh, next video, I'm actually, I will actually uh, begin uh, reading from the book. Uh, because, um, again, this video is, uh, uh, long enough, right? So, uh, uh, please check out more videos, uh, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, give me some ideas in your comments of videos and ideas that you would like to see on different topics, whatever the topics may be, not just self-esteem. I also do videos on, uh, uh, anger management I'm going to do some some uh, videos on technology. I'm not, let's say, a professional at technology, but I do think that I have uh, sufficient knowledge that I could help someone else to learn. And that is something that I love to do. I love to uh, uh, teach. Right. So uh, anyway, like and subscribe um, and please check out the uh, upcoming videos.